Have you ever wished you could recapture those carefree moments that you used to have as a kid? You know having those sense of wonder, curiosity and endless possibilities. Yes, me too as when we were kid, we used to be more independent in our thoughts, had a fresh eye to observe everything and nothing seems impossible, right? But in the moment of time it can be for the societal norms, the pressure in your education or job. We tend to forget these qualities. But what if I tell you there are still ways to tap back those youthful spirits so that we can feel that aliveness again within us? Well, in this video, I'm just going to do that, discussing about some simple but powerful ways to bring back those feelings so that you can live life as a kid again. Now, without rambling much, coming directly to the first point, embracing curiosity. Remember as kids we were always asking why? That time every little thing were like a mystery to be solved. We asked questions like why the sky is blue? Why I can't have ice cream in the breakfast? But somewhere along the way we stopped questioning and started accepting things as they are. Now it's time to change that and bring back those curiosity in your life. But instead of asking these simple questions, you need to ask yourself questions that will help you to understand yourself more. And it can start with a simple questions and go up to complex questions like, why did I like this movie? Why this song hates me so much? What do I really want to do with my free time? Why did that comment bother me so much? Why do I care so much of what others think of me? And of course, these are not limited to these questions. In your everyday life, suppose when you are having conversation with someone, you can go deeper. Ask follow-up questions, be genuinely interested to that person, learn something new. People really do that now. Power of Imagination Remember when you were a kid you used to turn a cardboard box into a spaceship? That's the power of imagination. I can still remember when I used to play outside or even solve a complex maths problem. I used to imagine myself as Tintin. Yes, the fictional character created by Herge. He was and still my favorite comic character. He was curious, brave, intelligent and always eager to uncover the truth and solve mysteries. It was kind of an alter ego for me to tackle those challenges. That's your secret weapon. Later I learned this also has a name called chameleon effect which says it is a mindset involves using imagination to create an empowering alter ego enabling flexibility and adaptability in various situations it's about seamlessly blending into different roles to thrive and excel many famous athletes like kobe bryant adopted this black mamba personality around 2003 and 2000 during a challenging period of his personal life and career this alter ego became a powerful tool for him to channel his energy and focus on the court. So next time when you are feeling stuck, just close your eyes and let your imagination soar. It's a powerful medium to think yourself as your most favorite fictional or non-fictional character. It can be Tony Stark's wit and innovation or Wonder Woman's courage and compassion. You might be surprised where it will take you. Letting go the fear of looking silly. After growing up, we become very aware of how society think of us, like how we look, act or even talk. We get tangled up in these invisible boundaries that society had created. It's like we are scared to be really open up and be ourselves, right? And the result, we are not living our life to the fullest. But think back when we were kid, none of this stuff mattered. If you see any kid playing, you'll observe they are just doing their things as if no one is watching. They live fully in the moment with confidence. For example, can you remember as a kid, almost everyone like you and me used to wear those superhero costumes with full confidence. Or maybe you'd make up that wild dance move in the middle of the living room. That's the spirit we need to bring back into our lives. So next time when you'll feel like you're holding yourself back, then ask yourself this question. What would the kid inside me do right now? Maybe it's time to sing your hearts out in the car, even the windows down. Or rock that bright mismatched socks you love. 
letting go of the fear of looking silly. And that's how we start to live life more fully, just like we did as kids. And the last one, importance of play. Remember the old saying, all work, no play makes Jack a dull boy. Well, it's still spot on even today. Ever notice how kids are always full of energy and excited about life? It's because they never forget to play. But adults like you and me get busy in the work so much that we forget to play. For us, doing more work, being more productive has become the integral part of our life. These are important, but for this, we should not forget to play. Even there are studies which prove that they can improve adult mental health by serving as both a tool and a process for positive change. It reviews 20 interventions showing that playfulness can boost mental health outcomes. It has transformative therapeutic power for improving adult health and well-being. What I'm talking about is finding your own version of play as an adult. Maybe it's picking up a sport for you, it can be going for a run or even jumping the rope. So a few months before I started to swim again and I have realized the importance of this point. In my daily routine, I started to have a positive attitude towards life, building a sportsmanship spirit within me. So here's my challenge to you. Find your play, whether it can be playing football, joining a dance class, or even just having fun game night with your friends. But make it a regular thing. And trust me, your inner child and your stress level will thank you for this. Anyways, this is it. Hope this helps you somehow. Please share this video with at least someone whom you think may get help from this and subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching meet you in the next